Katie Yamasaki is at Seattle's Pacific Science Center for the first time. What makes this visit special? Her grandfather helped build the place. It's such a treat because this building in particular, I always kind of saw as among some of my favorite work of his, but I've never been able to actually be here. Seattle-born Japanese-American architect Minoru Yamasaki designed the Science Center's iconic arches and fountains. He also designed the twin towers of the former World Trade Center in New York. His granddaughter tells his story in a book she wrote and illustrated, Shapes, Lines, and Light, My Grandfather's American Journey. Before he was my grandpa, he was a kid, a teenager even, a young man trying to find his way through the world. A lot of the world happened to him, and he happened to a lot of the world. Minoru was also the architect for Seattle's Rainier Tower and many other buildings around the world. His designs defied traditional architecture, just as Minoru defied discrimination. To be Japanese-American at the time that he was alive was not an easy thing. He was born in 1912. You know, he wasn't allowed to swim in public pools. He wasn't allowed to sit in the lower level of the movie theater. The buildings he wanted to make were buildings like this, and the buildings that were being made for the Japanese community were internment barracks. Minoru looked to nature to make buildings that felt open and welcoming. He really wanted to design buildings at a human scale where people could kind of feel relaxed, feel inspired, feel uplifted. Katie was 10 when her grandfather died. She remembers him well. He was a warm and loving grandfather. She's glad he wasn't alive to see his most famous buildings destroyed. But she's also happy that much of his legacy remains. The main tenets of Minoru Yamasaki's designs are serenity, surprise, and delight. And Katie Yamasaki follows that family tradition with a book that's as beautifully crafted as her grandfather's architecture.